Yeah. Alright, you ready? Yep. Okay. Hey you guys, Jeremy and Eric from Plastic Fantastic Climbing and you know today we are spending I guess New Year's Day at um, Joshua Tree, but we thought we would A catch up with you and B talk about our Maverick crash pads that we got from Evolve and give you a little quick review, right? Actually not quick. It'll probably take a while. Yeah. So um I guess when you're talking about crash pads and you want to review them, you have to think of three very important things. And those three things would be... Durability. Yeah, I would say like how long it lasts you. And we've been using them for a year yep. I mean, and pretty aggressively. Um, so durability. How much they weigh, how easy they are to carry around, I think is important. Yeah, I would agree to that too. Um, and then lastly, and most importantly, yeah. actually. Yeah, how much they soften your catch. Yeah. Or fall. And I've taken maybe 50, like 15 feet, like around 15. Mm -hmm. how, how about you? Yeah, about the same. Um, and I feel like so far for anything that I've fallen on, I feel like the, the foam at 15 feet is fairly solid. Yeah, there's two levels or two layers of foam, two different types of foam in these. Uh, and I think that works really well for these pads. I agree. I agree. So let's um let's go from the beginning. So the beginning was durability. durability. Yeah. Yeah, so actually you've had them longer than I have. You've used them a lot more. You've had a lot more time to spend. You had more time to spend with them. So durability wise, like what do you think? I think they've held up really well. Uh, we I don't we don't have any uh, holes or anything in these pads uh, and I also think that these uh, corners with plastic instead of just the, the foam and the, and the fabric really helps out to not open up the sides of the, of the pad. Yeah, I agree. Um, not to mention any other brand names, but I have other crash, you have other crash pads as well. Yep. And after a while the corners start to tear. And after a year of like me using them, you using them, Katie using them, essentially, you know, the Plastic Fantastic team using them, um, because of these rubber plastic corners, no tearing. Right. So, you know, durability, scale one through 10. I mean, I can't say anything but uh, a 10 for these because I don't have any really tear on these and wear at all. Uh, they held up really well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would agree. A 10. A 10. Um, next thing. Uh, carryability. Yeah, how light they are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they're really light and easy to take around. Uh, they're, they're small enough to be easily fit them in the car. Uh, and you have a GTI. Yep. Golf. Yeah, so, and I feel we could fit with the seat down. Probably four, four of them. these. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we could fit four easily with with other gear. Yep. I think. So I think size wise, when you um, fold them up like that, I think, I think they work great. And the second portion is that you can get get a lot of surface area if you have two and you can arrange them in different settings uh, much better than if you have for example one big pad I I agree to that as well um, just because as you know like when you're climbing you really kind of want um, maximum surface area and sometimes that surface area isn't all level like sometimes you have like one flat area and then there's like a little boulder off to the side so it's kind of nice that you would have two to situate um, the pads in a way that would be conducive to like if you fell. Yep. And also if there's like a tall problem or you want to have more cushion, you can just put them on top of each other. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. That's a real great point. Um, and then last thing, and even though we already talked about it, um, like how safe are they? Like when you fall, like does it really do the job that it's supposed to do? I've only had really good experiences. Uh, clearly, if you take 15 plus feet falls, you might want to stack, you know, two or three levels high. But I've fallen off this thing. Oh, probably 10, 15 feet up. And yeah. I only had one pad, and it was it was totally fine. Yeah. And if you guys haven't noticed, we are at the famous Planet X, 
and um, you take falls off this thing all the time. Yeah. You know, like there's like a big move at the top, and then eventually, if you don't make it, I mean, you just fall and yeah. you fall and you fall. And um, I, so we'll set them up, obviously, and we'll take, I'll take a video of us giving it some goes, and you'll see like what it's kind of like. But I feel like, um, for the job that they're supposed to do, which is keep me safe when I when I take a fall, I feel like they, they do exactly what they're supposed to do. Yeah, I think they're really good, really great paths uh, in general. And yeah, so we rated durability a 10, how light they were and how, I guess, would you say function? Like how functional as pads they are in, in terms of placement? Yeah, I mean, the same thing there. Uh, it could potentially be a little lighter, but I mean they're they're super light uh, and carrying two of these pads is just the same as carrying one big pad. Yeah. So a nine or a ten there too. Yeah, I would agree. Nine or ten too. And then finally for I what do we want to call this? Like what they like the the main purpose Absorbability. Absorbability, yeah. Absorbability, I would I would I would give a ten so far. Like I haven't noticed anything. No. I agree. Yeah, cool. So you know, for all the things that you think that you would need a pad for, with, or the things that you would rate a pad for, for how long you can have them, how functional and how light they are, and if they actually do the job, I, I think they're rather perfect. Yeah, they're great. Um, but I think we can also talk about other things that make them really cool that I don't think that anybody has talked about. And thanks to you, you figured out that when you're out climbing you can actually latch them together yeah so you can kind of have like this little hack where you take off the the back straps on the top one and you kind of fold them around the second pad and then you click the, the hip belt into the one on the other side and you can fairly easily carry two pads uh, as one person yeah yeah agreed and um, I've taken some video already of what that looks like and I, I think that's fantastic because you know like when you go out to the crag I mean you're always taking something right like you're taking your shoes and a backpack and for me it's always like camera gear and having some kind of function that allows you to put two together and carry them out to yeah. your boulder problem super awesome yeah, that's great. super super awesome I think that's such a big plus um, and then the other thing that we thought about was for the price that they are, I mean, they're super functional and they're super handy that I don't think that I would buy. So for two, you would easily have to, you get really close to the price point of $400, yep. right? So when you buy two of them with tax, you know, leaving the door, you're getting really close to $400. Um, for $400, would you buy like a gigantic, Pad? No, because it's kind of that's the same thing we just talked about. The fact that you can rearrange these in different settings that is much harder with one big pad. Yeah. So I think this is a much better deal. And it's, like I said, if you need that extra cushion, you can put them on top of each other. Yeah. No, I I absolutely agree. Um, we're gonna take. I'll take some video. We'll we'll take some outtakes and we'll do some stuff. But you you guys will get to see like what we're doing. And um and then. I, I highly suggest getting them. Like if you if you're looking for a pad, like I can't suggest a better pad. Like they're they're really durable. We've had them for the last year, and you know as a matter of fact, they updated the pads with like a brand new color. So this orange kind of color with the lime is the older color, but they came out with like this really cool color, and it's um it's the black with this really cool blue so um, I think that uh, as an update or a new colorway I think it's really great um, another thing that now that we're opening with the pads I, that we didn't talk about yeah, is that we didn't talk about the, the little, little shoe pad yeah. yeah the little shoe pad I really use them all the time just because whenever I climb I don't like extra dirt on my shoes so I just kind of rub my foot on it I think that's a cool little feature. That's great. Um, now, now that we're actually touching them, one of the other, th I'm like going back now. The other cool thing is that they have like all these really pull handles that 
where, however the pad is laid out, you can pull them from the side. You've got like um, this other pull handle on this side. You've got a pull handle on this side. So, you know, you, you have like multiple ways as you're trying to go from one place to another place to just like go and drag it. And it's super handy. Like most of them come with, I think this handle. Yeah. Right. But this, the Evolve crash pad comes with other handles that you can just drag things along. And that's really, really awesome. Like I'm, I'm glad I actually caught that. Yeah. And I thought that was a really good feature. Um, I guess the last thing, if oh, you look okay. at the back side of these pads, you have these little straps. Oh um, yeah. You need to keep them flat because you know they have a tendency to stay folded a little bit. But then you can just lock them down and they stay flat uh, when you put them on flat ground. Yeah, so they don't like open up or like, yeah. if you guys can't tell and I'm not sure if the video is going to have this, there's like a slight bit of wind. Sometimes in the wind, you'll notice that if you lay them flat, they'll like flop around a bit. But with that little uh, Velcro attachment, I think that'll be like a great way to keep them flat. So um, I think for a pad, it has like a lot of nice little accoutrement features mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that really make it a very solid deal. Um, anything else? No, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Um, I'll take some like little short video video things of like all the little things that I really love. Oh, one more one more thing. The the metal clasps have like a little flip thumb thing that I think is super super cool. So whenever whenever you're attaching or you're trying to loosen up, it's always nice to have like a little thumb catch to pull on the tabs. So small, so minor, but when you add everything up about these pads, it really does kind of make like this really killer deal. Alrighty, cool. Thank you. Thanks you guys. Um, Jeremy, Aaron, Plastic Fantastic Climbing, thanks for watching. Um, again, if you guys really love what we're doing, um, just kind of subscribe and you know, we're, we really do plan to come up with like more stuff this year. Um, I am really gonna make an effort to create more videos. Eric and I are, we have, um, we have the new aggros coming up. So we're really, really psyched on doing that review as well. So keep on watching. We really thank you. If you guys have any questions, um, ask away. We're really open to all of that. And I guess, again, thanks a lot. Yeah, all right, see you guys, bye.